The transfer window has only been open for a few days, but already there's been so much reported on Jaden Sancho to Manchester United and Jack Grealish to Manchester United. So what I'm going to do in this video, first of the summer, I'm going to take a full story look and bring you bang up to date with everything that's happened in the last few days with Sancho and Grealish and their potential transfers to United. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But let's take a look at the full story update, the first full story of the summer of 2020. As you saw from my video earlier this week, I covered the report out in Germany that really kick-started it all from Bild, saying that United had a 98 million euro bid for Sancho rejected by Dortmund, who are holding out for 120 million euros. Now, a lot has happened since. If we look at James Ducker and The Telegraph, he's saying that United and Dortmund are both keen to strike a deal for Sancho, that a compromise will be reached. Talks about the idea that there's an arbitrary deadline set by Dortmund of 10th of August when they return for pre-season training, but that United had not yet submitted a formal bid despite reports from Germany. So James Ducker actually saying the opposite of what Bild is saying and no official bid has gone in. And Fabrizio Romano, here we go. The man who everybody looks for for United transfer updates, he had his say. And he said that no official bid had gone in the same as James Ducker in contrast to reports from Bild in Germany. So those that we consider, I suppose, the most reliable in regards to United transfer news are actually going against the reports from Germany. And then Sky Sports piped in with their latest update on Sancho to United. They're saying that United are working hard to find a solution for a transfer and that discussions had already begun. They mentioned the 10th of August deadline. That's when Dortmund returned to pre-season training, saying that Dortmund won 120 million euros, which is what Bild was saying. And they said that no bid yet had been placed by United. And they mentioned the fact that Sancho's contract expires in 2022, which I suppose gives a little bit of a leeway to Dortmund. They're not exactly being forced to sell a player that's going to be worth nothing the following year. So lots of contrasting stories, which is what you expect with United transfer stories. And that will continue all summer long. It all started with Bild saying that a bid had gone in. But then James Ducker, Fabrizio Romano and Sky Sports all reporting that no actual official bid had gone in. But Sky Sports saying that United have begun talks. That's a big thing in itself. And they're saying that United are the only club interested in signing Jadon Sancho. And if that was the case, that would be a massive thing as well. Because if you look at Bruno Fernandes, I've no idea. I still have no idea why United had such a free run at Bruno Fernandes. Thank you, everybody else, for not being interested in him. Because it made our job slightly easier. Didn't make the negotiations any easier because Ed Woodward still dillied and dallied and did what he did. And it took us ages to sign him. But if that 10th of August deadline, now I think that's just Dortmund flexing. It's them trying to force United into making the offer that they want earlier rather than later, which is what we would all actually want to happen. But I don't think the 10th of August is an actual deadline. Pre oh man, that's like 12, 13 days away. That's ridiculous. That's how quick football is going to come back. But I don't think a deal is going to be done by the 10th of August. That's my instinct telling me that. I might be wrong, but let me know what you think about that. So the reports and the latest on Sancho is that a bid hasn't gone in, but talks have begun according to Sky Sports. And for me, even that on its own is a good step. But what about Jack Grealish? Now, Jack Grealish, Villa stayed up. Jack Grealish scored that all-important goal against West Ham on the final day of the season. He was their captain this year, their standout player on the pitch. And because Villa survived relegation, his price has gone up. There's no question about that. And that in itself is seemingly causing plenty of problems. But Dean Smith, Aston Villa's head coach, this is what he had to say about Jack Grealish and his future at the club when asked after that game against West Ham. He said his future will be sorted over the next month. And he said he's got no idea if Jack Grealish stays, but his contract is another three or four years on it. And we've got billionaire owners. And if people want him, he's going to cost an awful lot of money. Now, the general consensus before the end of the season was that Grealish wanted to leave Aston Villa, regardless of what happened. But as it was his boyhood club, he was desperate to keep them in the Premier League and he helped do that. But that in itself has given Villa much more power in the negotiations because had Villa got relegated, they would have had, they would have had to sell their best asset and get the most that they could, but they would have done, without question. Now that they're staying up, they're going to dig their heels in. 
65 million pounds was around about the fee that was being quoted for Grealish if Villa got relegated. It's now gone up to 80 million pounds. And the Times are reporting that Jack Grealish is worried about what happens next. And they fear, and he fears, that he might be priced out of a move away from Villa. The move that he's desperate for now, having achieved survival with his boyhood club. And Sky Sports are reporting that United are indeed calling their interest in Jack Grealish. And they base that on that fee. They think that it's going to take a fee in excess of £80 million for United to sign Grealish this summer from Aston Villa. Do you think that Grealish will be worth that much? I think if you look at Sancho and Grealish, they're two very different players in terms of how important they are this summer for United to sign them. I think with Jadon Sancho, it's extremely important. We need a right winger. Mason Greenwood, I don't want to ruin the length of that kid's career by forcing him to become our number one right winger immediately. And I'm not even sure if right wing's his best position. He might still be that centre forward. And then you've got Dan James, who's just not good enough to play there yet. He needs someone like Jaden Sancho to learn from. So Jaden Sancho is a priority for United. But Jack Grealish comes into a position where we've got Bruno Fernandes, we've got Paul Pogba. We've got real quality in there. But Jack Grealish comes in and the squad quality improves massively at United. And that's there's going to be different types of signing that United need to make from now on. Key starting 11 signings and big squad improvement signings. And that's where I think the difference lies with Sancho and Grealish. And why one, Sancho is more important than the other, Grealish. And why United, I think, will push and push and push for Sancho, but won't be pushed anywhere near £80 million for Jack Grealish. So there's going to be more of a standoff there between United and Villa for Grealish if we are interested in him than if we're interested in we are in Jadon Sancho and Dortmund. I think we're more likely to get a compromise there than you are with Grealish. But that's my own opinion. You might disagree on that. But as I said, plenty has happened already in the first few days of this transfer window. United clearly have had an excellent season in terms of progression. It's not an excellent season in terms of Looking back in the history records, United finishing third and 33 points behind Liverpool, people will want to forget about. But we got back into the Champions League. We have a chance to win the Europa League. We have Champions League football next year. Now we need to make the quality signings on top of that to take us forward. Jadon Sancho, for me, is a crucial one. Jack Grealish would be great. Not essential, but great as well. Centre-back, for me, is important. That central midfielder that's a little bit deeper than Jack Grealish is also important. You could probably say that a fullback is important. There's still key areas in this squad that need to be improved. But in terms of Sancho and Grealish, that is the latest update on their transfers to United. Lots happening. United are in talks at the very least with Dortmund over Sancho. That has started and that's a good thing. I'll be surprised if United paid 80 million for Grealish, but let's see how that develops over the next few days. And if there are any major updates, of course, I'll bring them to you here. And I'll also be doing more regular videos over on the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the people's person. From next week onwards, there's going to be a lot more content. So make sure you check that out. But please drop a like on the video if this full story helped you understand everything that's gone on with Sancho and Grealish and United over this week. And if there are any more videos you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. And also, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who left their comments on that community post about the Player of the Season Awards. Didn't miss that. Haven't forgotten about it. We'll be getting that video done very, very soon. Until next time, though, take it easy.